Hi, welcome. My name is Mark Abadi, and this is Mark's Minutes on Magnetics. I just want to talk to you about the body system, because it's a phenomenal system. Okay. Very simply, we have electrical fields, because we have electrical current that flows through our body. Every neuron that fires is an electrical signal. Boom, 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 boom. Electrical signals flowing. Millions of them, trillions of them happening all over my body, all through my body, all through my brain. Trillions of electrical signals. Because of something called Ampere's law, any flow of electricity through a wire or an axon or a neuron will produce a magnetic field. Any flow of electricity through a coil, a spiral, will produce a magnetic field. The entire body is spirals. The entire body. So we're producing magnetic fields because we've got flow of electricity. These magnetic fields totally map the same signals as the electrical field. That's why EEG and uh, um, electrocardiogram and electroencephalogram, that's why now we're doing magnetic cardiogram and magnetic uh, encephalograms. So encephalogram is from the brain, uh, cardiogram is obviously the heart. So we're now measuring the magnetic fields and the electrical fields, the magnetic fields of both the heart and the brain. And the reason for this is because magnetic fields leave the body unimpaired. So you generate a magnetic field, it leaves the body as if it wasn't even there, as if it was travelling through the vacuum. The electrical field gets absorbed. We know electric, electrical fields move through paths of least resistance. So they'll get absorbed by muscle and bone and all these different things. And generally they won't really come out of the body or they'll come and they'll be a lot less. The magnetic fields, on the other hand, move through the body untouched. And they're the same signal. So if you think, I love you, and you're, you know, you're with someone, you're thinking, I love you. That electrical signal, that thought, is an electrical signal which produces a subsequent magnetic field of, I love you. That magnetic field leaves your body untouched by your body and moves out into the world. Now, they decrease magnetic fields very rapidly, but that doesn't mean we can't detect them in a quantum world, in a quantum flux. We can detect them. In fact, our entire body is designed to, to detect them. For this reason, something called the transverse Hall effect. It's a law, transverse Hall effect. What it says is anything that is semiconductive and helixical, spiral, like DNA, RNA, myosin, cardinin, actin, uh, uh, the connective tissues of the body, the collagen fibers, everything, the muscles, they're all spiraling around each other. They're all semiconductive, so they've all got iron inside them and other, other metals. They're all semiconductive and spiral. That means, according to the transverse Hall effect, they're sensitive to magnetic and biomagnetic fields. Our entire body is an antenna, a magnetic antenna to detect magnetism. Not only that, there are extra magnetic deposits in the ethanoid bone behind the eyes. So when you're looking at somebody, what are you actually looking at? Are you actually interpreting their magnetic fields as well? And is that the thing that connects you? You know, when you look at someone and there's a connection, You feel like you know them. It's that connection. Maybe that's your entrainment of your magnetic fields. Maybe you're detecting billions of bits of data from their magnetic field and it's coming into your brain. Because you know we're aware consciously of about 60 bits of information when there's actually 60 million bits of information every second coming into our body. And our body and our mind are processing it and our heart, but we're only consciously aware of about 60 bits. So all this myriad of information, we are magnetic field detectors. That's why don't sleep next to your phone when it's plugged in at night. Because it generates an electrical circuit from the wall to the phone, which creates a magnetic field. And we're magnetic field detectors, and we've never before in our evolution slept in magnetic fields artificially generated before. So, check it out. Think about it. It's the way of the future. That's just one explanation that science has something to say about, that explains how... Maybe it explains how someone knows what you're thinking. Maybe it explains how people in train, people on the same line of thought, how, how jazz musicians all play an improvised jazz set and not knowing what they're doing. They just do it and somehow it works. There is a, a, an alignment. What happens when lovers connect? When they're really in sync with each other? What, are, what is syncing up? Well, all fields interact with each other and will sync in some way. 
check out the Schumann Resonance. Schumann Resonance is a combination of all the electrical activity fields on the planet, which accumulate into a standing wave. That standing wave might be raising, might not be. I think it is rising with the movement into the photon band. Check out my uh, prophecies and 2012. Speak to you soon. Thanks for listening.